Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. So I want to show you an alternative to starting tomatoes, peppers, eggplants indoor. We're going to be using these foil trays. I'm going to show you the whole process, how to keep track of the different plants in there. But this is just another way to start seeds indoors, save yourself a lot of money, or start them outdoors. I'll talk about both ways to do that. I've already done a video on that, but I'll discuss it again. So this is just a foil baking tray. It's three inches deep. That's what I recommend. I got like a 12 pack at uh, Costco for like 10 bucks. So it's really inexpensive. And part of what I want to do is really kind of bring the cost down or the barriers to new gardeners so that they can get started. Transplants are just way too expensive when you go to the stores. So I'll show you how to set this up. Tomatoes, peppers, eggplant, tomatillos, but you can really use it for any plant. So I just fill the foil tray with seed starting mix, space them out. These are pepper plants, that's kale plants. Any seed can be done this way. These were started on February 2nd. Today is March 23rd. So you can figure, what is that? Four weeks, about seven weeks of growth, six, seven weeks worth of growth. They can stay in here until they're ready to go outside. And subscribe follow and i'll show you how i plant these take them out of here and all that but it's basically just scooping them out you can take a knife just run it down here reach your hand in pop it up it's going to have enough root and you can you know put it to wherever you want in your garden so we're going to be doing tomato seeds i just want to recommend bentley seed company if you're looking for seeds can't find them at my seed shop please check out bentleyseeds.com it's a wonderful company love the people great selection and the seeds germinate at a really really high rate so if we are setting this up again you're going to want any size foil tray but you want to try and get three inches worth of depth that's the importance of just giving it enough space for all the different roots to grow they can you know mingle together whatever they do under there you could have plenty of room so when I showed you the peppers the spacing was greater if you're concerned you could do greater spacing than what I'm about to show you. So what I did here is just put in finger holes about a half an inch deep. That's fine for any seed. Basic starting mix, pre-moistened, whatever you want to use. You could use potting mix. If these are staying indoors, I recommend using boiling water to sterilize your seed starting mix. If you're going to forgo the grow lights and just move them in and outside, I'll talk again more about that. You can just use potting mix because these are going to be outside and then it's an opportunity for insects to get on here anyway. So three inches deep, that's the key. First pan, you want six holes in there. That's how it's going to drain. If this is sitting outside, if you're doing this outside and it rains, you wanna make sure you have holes in the bottom so that doesn't flood and kill your plants. So you fill the pan with the holes in it with the starting mix and then you just put in that's a row of eight, a row of eight, a row of eight, a row of eight, 32 plants in here. You could do rows of six if you want more space, whatever you'd like to do. The way that you keep track of it is right on here, I would put a piece of tape and just put the date on here or put an X or whatever you want to put on there. What that does is it orients the tray to this mark right here, 323, let me put it into the camera, 323 tomatoes so that you line up the tape here, the corner here, and then you would just label each space with what you're growing. So you could have black cherry, black cherry, beef steak, midnight snack, or maybe you're doing a whole row and it just says Roma's all the way up there. I just wanted to cut in to talk about why this is important to me. I did it like a three minute video on this process of taking them out during the day and bringing them in at night. They were for cool weather crops. These are warm weather crops. This is what people pay a lot of money for. Like it's real easy to go to the store and pay $4 for a tomato plant or $4 for a pepper plant. Right in this little space, there's nine plants. If you bought them all that way, that'd be $36. For about $15, including buying the seeds, you can just set up something that I'm showing you in today's video. But it's a great way to save money. In here, we have those 32 plants. If you and you could do half tomatoes half peppers some eggplant you can put in whatever you want but you could put your whole garden in here four times 32 that's 128 dollars rather than paying that 15 bucks including the seeds maybe 20 
you can plant up your whole garden just like this. And this is perfect for warm weather crops. Don't be fooled. It can be freezing and cold at night outside. Just put them out during the day, bring them in. And the money that you're paying for seeds, $2 a pack, you may only use a couple seeds. They're going to be good for three, four, five years. So you can just reuse them. But this is just a really great way to start seeds, especially if you're on a budget. You just don't have to spend a lot of money. This way you don't need plant labels. You have this and you know exactly what you're growing. So you're going to put this tray right here into a tray that does not have holes in it. So I would fill this with water. I would sit that tray on top of here. Don't drop it. It'll splash out. It'll float. It'll be able to absorb water from the bottom. That's how you're going to water your plants. You can also have two under there. It's a lot more sturdy when you're moving it around. If this is outside and it's raining, you take this tray right there out of the foil tray that doesn't have holes. This way you have drainage if the rain is, is you know, uh, going to happen that day. Regardless of where you start them, you want two trays. So to seed start, I'm not going to put them in there uh, because it's pretty straightforward. You would just drop in one or two seeds in each hole and then you would cover them over and you're good to go. Bottom water, don't water from the top because it splashes the soil around, splashes the seeds around and it's a little more difficult. So you would just fill this up maybe a quarter away again set the tray in there it'll absorb water up this will become a nice dark color and then you water when this turns a light brown a day or two after that you bottom water and that's how you can take care of your plants now, i've grown plenty of tomato plants already these are really prop plants these were started on january 7th nice and tall it is too cold outside for me to put tomato plants out we're going to have a frost in the next couple of days so you want to start your tomato plants six to eight weeks or your tomatillo six to eight weeks before the last frost date in your area. You want to start your eggplant and your peppers eight to ten weeks before last frost date. And that will just give them enough time to grow to size in here. The warm weather will be coming and then they'll be ready to go outside. I really like this method. I'm going to start all my tomatoes actually outdoors. And what do I mean by that? So I have plenty of peppers. They're all growing already. So I'm going to fill this up with my tomato seeds. Keep this inside where it's warm until you see some germination. And maybe when you see four or five of these germinate, they're ready to go outside. And I just will put these out during the day when the temperatures are 40 degrees or warmer. And then I'm going to bring them in at night. Your tomatoes, your peppers, your eggplant, your tomatillos will grow really quickly using this method if you bring them in at, in at night, unless it's like 60 degrees or something. And the warmth of the house will stimulate the growth and these are going to take off. You don't even need to use grow lights. Or you could, you know, check out my playlist that's in the video description. I go over indoor seed starting. You could just put these under your, your grow lights if it's too cold outside um, and let them do their thing and they're going to grow just like this. The beauty of this setup, again, it's three inches deep. That's uh, seven and a half centimeters and 40 degrees Fahrenheit is about four and a half degrees Celsius. So as long as it's four and a half degrees Celsius, 40 degrees warm outside, you can put these out here. If you have a frost during the day, just bring them inside. If you have grow lights, put them under grow lights. If not, put them near uh, a lighted area. But these are all going to be started if you want to follow me by just taking them outside. It's March 23rd. I'm going to be bringing them in at night and you're going to see how well these can grow. So for, you know, a couple of bucks for foil trays, some seed starting mix, and seeds in and out during the day, you're going to have, uh, what is that, eight times four, 32 tomato transplants or whatever you decide to start in there. Great way to save money, have some fun with it. So of course, once you pop your seeds in, you would just cover them up and you're really good to go. This again is about eight weeks worth of growth. You can see how nice the peppers look. If you were just growing these inside under grow lights, you'd have to spend about seven days acclimating these because they're not really toughened up to the cold weather, to the rain, to the cold, to the wind, to the UV rays of the sun. If you are taking these out during the day and bringing them in at night, they're going to already be acclimated. So it's going to save you a step in that acclimation process. I hope you give this a try. I hope this reduces the barrier to starting seeds indoors. You don't need grow lights. You don't need all the plastic stuff that I sell at my seed shop. A couple of foil trays, 
Make sure you set up a way to keep track of them. This is going to be really important. Most important thing is to put something in the left corner here, left corner here. That's how you orient everything. And you're going to have 32 seed starts of whatever you want to grow. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you give this a try. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot easier than you think. And if you're just bringing these out during the day and in at night, you're still going to have great success. And again, if you can't find what you want at my seed shop, please check out Bentley Seeds at BentleySeeds.com. A wonderful company, great selection. Thanks for watching and enjoy gardening. Be creative, try something new. Don't worry if you fail, because if you do, you're going to learn something and you're going to be able to succeed next time.